Hi there, Virgo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of October 21st through to the 27th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. First up, we have Page of Pentacles. Nine of Wands in the upright, followed then by the Empress. Next, we have the Ten of Wands reversed, followed by Six of Cups in the upright. So your overall energy, Virgo, is the Page of Pentacles. This is um, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You're coming up in your own reading in the upright position, indicating you're on the right path with any messages you would like to send. So this is good news. Uh, pages are messengers. It could be that you are being messaged this week, and it could be on the topics of anything from um, job. Maybe if you have applied for job, you're looking for work. It could be that you're getting a message this week concerning that. If you've applied for any kind of grants or financial services or anything like that, you could be getting a message this week about financial um, papers are ready to be signed and they could be on their way to you. Yet others of you could be hearing from uh, maybe a child, a grandchild, or somebody in the family that is messaging you concerning um, school matters. Sometimes this can be maybe they need money for tuition or something like that. This could be you yourself perhaps needing cash or some type of uh, loan, student loan or something like that. A lot of times it's associated with... Um, with education, it can also represent an intern position, maybe getting message about that. Or maybe you're trying to hire an intern. Right at the beginning of the week, we have the Nine of Wands in the upright position. This is the Wounded Warrior card. This is where we fought many challenges, many battles on the same front. And we're a little worse for wear, but we're ready to fight another day if we should have to. This is not saying that we do have to. It's just saying this is just about strength and reserve and being prepared. So um, being prepared to deal with another challenge. Now, for some of you, it could be concerning, you know, these matters, right? The practical matters, the work, the finances. Um, it could be about school and education issues, things like that. Maybe that's what your challenges are. But for others of you, this could be something completely separate. Maybe you're just you're going into the office on Monday and you're like, oh, I always have to deal with the same type of uh, problem over and over again. It's not, again, it's not saying that you have to. It's just that, it's just that feeling. The Knight of Wands is that feeling like, I may have to deal with this challenge yet again. It could be anything as simple as, um, you know, a pesky allergy or something that keeps coming back and it's like, oh, I need to... I need to get this problem solved already. <laughs> or some of you, perhaps, you walk into work and you've got like nine different situations you have to deal with. <laughs> Sounds like a, a Virgo workplace. Next card up is the beautiful Empress in the upright position. This is the mother, the mother figure. This can represent uh, perhaps you. It can represent pregnancy. Maybe some of you are finding out you're with child this week. Um, others of you it could be dealing with your own mother or uh, issues. Maybe some of you are having um, challenges with your mother. Or here's another scenario because these are just general reads. So not all Virgos are going through the same situation. Some of you, the Empress can also represent someone in a position of power, say HR or somebody who can help solve a problem. Now, say that this Nine of Wands is referring to, in your situation, is referring to a work problem. It could be that there is a need to go over, uh, maybe over your supervisor, or your boss's head to the head honcho or to go to HR and talk with them because they're there in the upright, they're ready, they're willing and able to assist you in any way that they can. This uh, card is also associated with um, with compassion, caring, understanding. So this person would be understanding of your situation. Now, um, for some of you, this could be perhaps a situation where 
your, I don't know, I, I'm losing my train of thought now, but I was thinking like in terms of, okay, now I remember. This can also represent uh, giving birth to new ideas and new beginnings of something. Now, it could be that there's challenges upon challenges upon challenges, and it could be playing out in the workplace or something like that, right? So now you're just like, okay, maybe I'm, I don't want to do this type of thing anymore. Maybe I want to start my own group or my own situation and move and branch out on my own. So that could be what some of you are doing here. Now, moving on towards the weekend, we have the Ten of Wands in reverse, which is encouraging. This could be following the same storyline for some of you, where Ten of Wands in the upright is where we have too much on our plate, right? Where people are delegating all of their stuff to us and we're being overwhelmed. Well, this is about being released. So this is really good news for those of you who perhaps do go and uh, maybe you're putting in a formal complaint and you're getting, you're making the change in the workplace that is going to make things easier for you. So that could be what's going on for some of you. This is about lessening of the burden. So it could be somebody jumps on board in order to help you. Again, the Empress is very helpful energy. So it could be that somebody jumps on board to assist you. Now this could be in the home. This could be playing out anywhere because not only is the Empress some, somebody in a position of power in the workplace, but again, it can represent somebody caring, somebody compassionate towards your situation, maybe helping you out in the home as well. And the last card you have is the Six of Cups in the upright position. This is the Blast from the Past card. It could be that it is weekend energy. Maybe some of you are going to an event. It could be a high school reunion. It could be going um, to spend some time with some friends from your childhood. It could be some of them are coming into town or maybe you're going to visit them. And uh, you're going to be spending some quality time with them when it's in the upright position. It usually indicates that the event goes well, especially if you're attending like a like a, um, uh, a special anniversary or a wedding or something like that. Is that. If that's where you're seeing these people, it could be a very enjoyable event. Also known as the soulmate card, it could be meeting someone new that feels like someone from the past, like a past life connection. For others of you, this could represent a childhood sweetheart, maybe connecting or reconnecting with them again. Maybe you see them somewhere or when you're out and about, or it could be even connecting online. Maybe they're, you know, messaging you in a high school group, you know, where they have those ones on Facebook and they could be, you know, starting up, like bringing back those old familiar feelings again, those wonderful uh, moments of emotional connection. So lots of interesting things could be going on here, Virgo. We want to hear from you in the comment section below. But in the meantime, in closing, I will be pulling a card from the Wisdom Oracle deck to see what is happening here. What is going on here? Extra message. Number seven. Oh, it says to the sea. To the sea, Virgo, whatever that means for you. Maybe you're going to take a trip overseas. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. That's what I have for you. I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous week ahead. I want to thank you so much for joining me. And I really hope that the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Subscribership is free after all. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button. And I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.